Most people are good at not failing. They're good at trying new things when there's very little downside and they're good at pushing themselves when no one will see them fail. They're also good at taking a stand when a thousand other people have already done so. And to be fair, I'm just as guilty of these things as anyone else. But a problem arises when it becomes more important to not fail in your daily life than it is to succeed. Every time you choose to avoid failure, you train yourself to not take risks. You train yourself to pass on potential opportunity in favor of playing it safe. You train yourself to use the fear of failure as a driver for decision making. If your tendency in any situation is to not fail, then you'll find it hard to ever truly win because you're teaching yourself that it's better to make an easy choice that's not wrong than a hard choice that's right. To get a better idea of what I mean, listen to this beautiful quote from Richard Saul Werman. The notion of learning to walk has lingered in my mind, and I've contemplated the process of teaching someone to walk again. I realize that this process has a lot to do with trusting a leg out into the terror of losing your balance, then regaining your equilibrium, moving you forward, then repeating this with your other leg. Risk is half of the process of moving forward. The risk of failing is inherent in achieving a goal. There's nothing wrong with staying in a wheelchair. In fact, staying in a wheelchair is a great way to not fail. But maintaining the status quo and holding on to normal isn't the same thing as succeeding. Now I'm not advocating failure as if it's something you should be searching for and accepting. I'm simply saying that it's not something to fear. If you want to get up and walk, you have to be willing to fall down. We all have dreams and goals, but they can't become a reality without vulnerability and uncertainty and discomfort. Learning to walk again is very hard. So is getting in shape, eating healthy, building a business, writing a book, starting a tough conversation, getting a better job and thousand other things. But as Seth Godin beautifully mentions, when you're truly living on the edge, walking on the moon perhaps, or caught in a grip of extreme poverty, there's no room at all for error. It's a luxury you can't afford. For the rest of us though, there's a cushion. Being wrong isn't fatal, it's merely something we'd prefer to avoid. We have the privilege of being wrong. Not being wrong on purpose of course, but wrong is a cost on the way to being right. You can spend your whole life developing the skill of not failing and making decisions that are not wrong. It's easier and it's safer. But how long will you put off what you're capable of doing just to maintain what you're currently doing? The alternative is that you can challenge yourself by doing the things that most people make excuses to avoid. You can trust your leg forward and battle to regain your balance. Sure, you'll fall down along the way, but it's the risk of falling down that makes the achievement worthwhile. The only real failure is not taking any action in the first place. Alright kings, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please help me make better videos by sharing your thoughts and ideas down in the comments below. Thanks.